Hello and welcome to the section of the Chemistry Tutor where we're going to continue using these redox reactions to solve stoichiometry problems. So it's big picture a three part process. First part is we're going to read the problem and interpret it. The second part is we'll write the reaction that that problem describes and balance it using the method that we've learned already. And the third part is we'll use that balance reaction to calculate whatever it is that the stoichiometry problem is asking us to calculate. So that's the, the third part that we've done in the past with easier types of reactions. And so what we have now is a stoichiometry problem that goes like this. In an acidic solution, uh, this is called a permanganate ion. This permanganate ion reacts with tin, this is tin, uh, this tin ion, to give a manganese uh, ion and uh, another tin ion with a different charge. How many milliliters of 0 0.230 molar potassium permanganate solution are needed to react with 40 milliliters of 0 0.250 molar tin chloride solution? Uh, you know, when you read these problems, they can just make your head spin if you just don't attack it in a logical way. I mean, I've been doing these problems a long time, but even when I read this, and I have the solution right here, even when I read this, my brain doesn't really know off the top of my head exactly how I'm going to get to the answer. I mean, I, I have the process in my head. I know what I need to do because I've trained myself and I've done enough of these problems. But you cannot read one of these problems and just know, all right, well, this is how it's going to happen. You just can't because there's too many things. There's, there's these different ions going on. There are these different molar solutions. And your, your brain is like, what are those for? And then, of course, you've got the stoichiometry and everything else. Um, but the, the big picture is that you need to realize the reaction or the problem is giving you a lot of information. First, it's telling you it's an acidic solution. So that's important. We know that that's now important. We know why. So it's acidic solution. Then it's telling us that this ion reacts with this ion to give this ion and this ion. So it's telling us the basically the net ionic equation. It's telling us all the ions that are involved in this reaction. Um, so it's telling us this ion reacts with this one to give us this one and this one. So we'll write that down in a minute. And then the second part of the problem is asking us how many milliliters of a certain solution of this. Notice we have potassium permanganate here. Notice we have tin chloride here. But there's no potassium or tin mentioned in any of the, the top part of the problem. And I mentioned this before, that confuses a lot of students. What's going on here is you don't buy a permanganate ion in a bottle. You don't go buy a tin 2 uh, ion in a bottle with a charge of positive 2. You buy uh, established compounds, you know, like uh, potassium permanganate or like tin chloride. Now these are in solution, right, different concentrations. We've talked about concentrations before. What happens is whenever you, you do perform the reaction, these uh, guys are actually dissociated. So the potassium is an ion and the tin is an ion that are what we call spectator ions. So they don't show up in the, in the full blown form of the equation because they just hang around and do nothing. The relevant parts of what are happening here is the permanganate ion, the tin ion with a charge of plus two, the manganese ion with a charge of plus two, and this um, uh, tin, uh, this, this tin uh, uh, ion with a charge of plus four. So let's just jump right in and see if we can make some sense of this. First, we need to write the reaction out, and it tells us that in the problem. So what we're going to have is this permanganate ion, MnO4, has a charge of negative one, plus it says it reacts with this tin with a charge of positive two, and it says it yields this manganese, which has a charge of positive two, uh, with a charge of tin with a charge of four plus. So this is the, the basic reaction. This is the net ionic equation because you can tell for two reasons. Number one, the ions are everywhere, 